In this video, I will be talking about instantaneous velocity. As the name suggests, the instantaneous velocity is the velocity of an object at one particular position or one particular time. Let's say you're driving a car. Let's say you drive a car. As you're moving from, from let's say from the Dallas to Odessa. As you're moving, you might change the the speed. Let's say you move in a straight line. Sometimes you might be traveling at 60 mile per hour. Sometimes you might be moving at 40 mile per hour or sometimes even at 80 mile per hour. So you're not moving with a uniform velocity. Your velocity changing as you move, uh, um, as, as you keep moving. So that means the velocity is different at the different time and the different position. So the instantaneous velocity is the velocity at one particular moment, at one particular time. That's what it says. It is the velocity at one particular time or position. That is the instantaneous velocity. So when you drive a car, you see, so the, you have a speedometer. The speedometer tells you the instantaneous velocity. It doesn't give you the average velocity. That's a different thing. The instantaneous velocity at that particular time gives you the uh, instantaneous velocity. Let's say, for example, the, the posted limit, 75 mile per hour. That means at that point, your instantaneous velocity has to be within the 75 mile per hour limit. If you exceed that, then you crossing the posted limit, then a police officer might catch you. So the instantaneous velocity again is the velocity at one particular time or one particular position. The speedometer of a car gives you the instantaneous velocity. And how do we measure it? So mathematically, we can calculate if you know the position if you know the position as a function of time, we can calculate the, the instantaneous velocity. So this formula here, Vx, V, which is the dx over dt, the first derivative of position with respect to the time gives you the instantaneous velocity or rate of change of position with time. Here, I'll just put one more with time, gives you the instantaneous velocity, okay? So just Keep a note of this one. V equals to dx over dt gives you the instantaneous velocity. Now let's give you, let me give you some example here. Let's say you're moving in a straight line and this is the position. This is how you change the position. At the different time, you have a different position. Then how do you calculate the instantaneous velocity? So as I mentioned, this is the xt here. 5t plus 10t squared. The instantaneous velocity at any time is dx over dt. Let's take a time derivative of this one. d over dt xt is a 5t plus 10t squared. And just to recall you, you should know this dx to the n over dx that's the formula is n x to the n minus one this is how do you how, how do you calculate the, the the derivative so in this now so five is a constant five dt over dt is one so you get plus then ten times two times t which is now 5 plus 20 t so this is the velocity or the instantaneous velocity at any time t now you are interested in calculating at time 1 and 5 second so at time 1 second so what I'm doing here I'm just plugging the value of time equals to 1 second into this equation 20 times 1 this one will give you 25 meter per second. And now at a five, five second, 
5 plus 20 times 5 which is 105 meter per second so this is the instantaneous velocity